Uh, day 34 of Joe's vlog. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do another one of these in the car. I hate doing these in the car because I think they look stupid, but um, it's raining out and I don't want people to think I'm a weirdo. I think that's why we left Morgantown in the first place. People thought we were weird. That's a joke. So day 34, I just finished the uh, Decker's Creek Half Marathon. And uh, wow. So first of all, they get you with this BS that it's all downhill, which is true. It is all downhill. There's no uphill at all. Holy God. Like, okay, so first of all, the, the run starts, if you, if you haven't been following me on Facebook, this, the run starts, there's a glare. The run starts in Masontown, West Virginia, which is where my mom is from. My mom was raised in Masontown, West Virginia. My granddad was raised in Masontown, West Virginia. Like, my roots go very deep into that, that town. So, uh, it's all downhill, and I got my ass kicked. I'm not going to lie. I got my ass kicked. I got it handed to me. Um, my official time is probably going to be similar to what Pittsburgh was, but... Whew, it was tough, and I am soaked, and I am drenched. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's pretty humid out. It's like, it's 80 degrees, and it's, it's cloudy. And then I leave, and it's, as I'm walking out, it's raining. Yeah, it was pretty rough. But I, I finished, and that's what you do, right? You finish. You finish. So, for the university high school kids, if I got you with the tag in this video... I'm glad I, because big surprise who I ran into here, right? Um, Danny Demchek, Danny Demchek, who was um, one of my track coaches. And I always liked Dan. I know he's eccentric and um, he's got his, he's got a big beard. But, uh, um, so I run into, he's the guy handing me my bottle of water at the end of the run. And I walk up to him and, no lie, this is how the story goes. I walk up to him to get the bottle of water because I see it's him. I walk by the, the first person to get to him and I say, I know you and you know me. And he said, what's your name? And I said, Foreman. And he goes, Joe. He goes, it looks like you gave up sprinting. And I'm like, well, I married, I, my, my wife is a long distance runner. How the hell did he know that? The guy, that guy hasn't seen me in 20 years. And he remembered me. Not only that, you remembered I was a sprinter, which is freaking awesome. Um, I always really liked Dan. I always really liked when we would go to track meets where you had to drive and not take a bus. I always liked riding with Dan because, like, God, he would he just so full of, like, knowledge. Just, like, he's so smart, and he had so much knowledge. It was just awesome to, like, ride with a person like that and just, like, have him talk to you. And he has, like, the best stories. And if you didn't get a chance to experience that, like, I feel sorry for you. Because, like, what an interesting dude. Um, and he's a distance guy. Like, he, he, um, he coached up the distance people. But I always, like, I always considered him one of my coaches. Even though, like, even though John Kelly and, and P.D. Cheesebro were my, my coaches, um, and Pete would punish my ass for horse shitting around... Um, Dan was always like, he always had like good suggestions and he's just, he was just such a wealth of knowledge. So I was, I was honored to like come back, do my first distance run at home and have him be the one to like, I know this to sound silly, but hand me a bottle of water. Like that was, that was really something. So, um, I felt my granddad with me today. Uh, kicking my ass the whole way. I heard him in my ear. You got to start eating better. You got to start. Um, you got to relax a little bit. You got to cut off the training a little bit. You got to take vacations. And that's today. Like when I get home after after I go to Walmart and get some dry clothes, and go to Cassville and get some stuff out of the house, I'm going home to Pittsburgh. And my vacation starts. And I'm just going to... I'm going to take a couple of days and just walk. And I'll probably run a little bit before the end of the week. And then we're in Florida. We're on the Gulf Coast of Florida next week. And I'm just hiking. 
keep my muscles loose because when I get back, um, we're going to hit the weights hard and we're going at it. So, Barber, 98 days away. I'm coming for you. Okay, so day 34 is in the books. I'll see you tomorrow for day 35, but I'm probably just, I'm just going to hike it tomorrow. Take an easy one, take a mulligan. Just get my 10,000 steps in and that's it, dudes. All right. Decker's Creek half in the books. Boom.